Hi, this is Emmy Meyer, and in my hand I'm holding my new CD. It's released September 1st. It's titled Curious Creature, and it's my latest recording venture, my summer project. Curious Creature, it's actually the name of uh, one of the songs on here, and I didn't really mean for the CD to be autobiographical, but sort of was inescapable since I wrote all the songs. And um, it's either me being curious about the world, or you could see it as me being the curious creature. Whichever is okay, you can decide for yourself. I'm always writing, so I think I've had these eight songs on that are on the CD for at least half a year, I guess. Um, some songs are older than others, and some I recorded or I wrote about a week before I recorded um, did the finishing touches. <laughs> Curious Creature is about a creature that people try to understand and really they don't have the understanding of it and they just see it how they want to and give it different purposes and then in that sense maybe it is like me. An angel was found in the shadows of a cave, hadn't found anyone to save. Oh, what a curious creature, unique in the fact it had no distinctive features. And then the chorus, I believe, goes, what do you think is wrong with me? What do you think is wrong with me? What do you think is wrong with me? It's not a depressing song, although it might sound that way. <laughs> it's actually really upbeat. It's about liberation and uh, not being put into squares, things like that. And people can't really understand you, but that's OK. And in a sense, it might s sort of be autobiographical in the sense that um, I do span many borders and identities as a person, both having been born in Japan and uh, growing up in Seattle and my mother being Japanese, my father being American, playing jazz, writing my own music, being a student, being employed, all of these hats that one person wears. It's just not easy to box in. One of my quirks. Oh, an interesting quirk is a lot of people see my stage presence and my day-to-day -day presence is very different. And they can't believe I'm the same person when I'm on stage or if I'm just talking conversation. It's really strange. I don't notice it, but apparently I transform just the way I carry myself. It's just a... Uh, I feel really comfortable on stage and it is who I am and I feel really comfortable right now talking and it is who I am but apparently there's sort of a leap from stage to ground. <laughs> well the CD just arrived on my doorstep uh, yesterday and I think I'm, it's going to be on CD Baby soon. Actually it is on CD Baby now and I encourage you to check it out. Um, the recording process was really, really fun. It just came together really quickly after trying to find a lot of musicians that I could work with because I write my material for piano and voice originally, but then we added bass and drums. We had about three practice sessions and then went into the studio one weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, and recorded all eight songs. I was in the studio till about 1 a.m. multiple times, and then with um, fixing things, inserting cello, um, shaker, tambourine. There were some long nights in there, but it was all very fun. I worked with Eric Eagle on drums, John Markle on bass, and my best friend Melissa Hanna came up from LA and helped me produce it and kept me grounded. You know, Emmy, are you? Remember when you originally wanted that sound? Is this really what you're going for? And asking the questions that needed to be asked so that um, I could just basically record the recordings that are truest to myself. And I think I did a good job with that. Um, the musicians helped me with that. And uh, we all had a really great time. We ate bagels and, you know, studio food. <laughs> saltines. I had a thousand CDs pressed. It was not cheap, but as I was saying, I 
worked three jobs in college and the whole time I had in mind that I wanted to record this summer. So I'm glad it worked out. It was worth it all. And uh, this recording is a nice combination of my training in jazz, piano, as well as you know listening to R&B and hip hop when you grow up. A little bit of pop, a little bit of singer-songwriters from the LA scene that I was participating in, like the Hotel Cafe, um, Regina Spector, Fiona Apple. So I think as a person, I, I'm a combination of things um, and different styles of music that I like to listen to. It's got like the acoustic feel of Gary Jules and the soul of India Ari and some quirky instrumentation like Fiona Apple. And I also, lyrics are really important to me and they have to really be true to what I'm feeling. And uh, I'm very proud of the CD, and, but it wouldn't have happened without all the people that supported me through it.